wiring up a Johnson A419. Simple to do, not difficult. One of three ways. You can use two extension cords, which is what I suggest. Uh, you can use one extension cord and cut the cord to whatever you're trying to control. I'm running a freezer and I'm only keeping it at about 40 degrees to brew beer. Or you can cut the cord to the freezer. We'll call it a freezer from now on. Um, I suggest using two extension cords because if you cut the cable on the freezer uh, it's not permanent I mean you can switch it back but you don't want wire nuts showing and all that especially if you got kids animals things like that so do yourself a favor just get two cheap extension cords these are about three dollars each on each extension cord you want to cut the opposite ends off so you're gonna cut one off on this end and you're gonna cut another one off on the opposite end so on one cord you cut this, on one cord you cut this. You're going to need extra cord too. Uh, on one of my cords I already cut it off. So I cut off the female end on one cord. You want to strip them down, not too much copper showing. And then you want to cut off the green part. All you want is white and black. And you want to do that on both of them. So cut that guy off you're gonna need extra cord like I just said that's about right that's uh three four inches eh tell you what yeah three four inches is good cut that what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take out the red wire or the the black wire let me borrow a pin Let's see if I can do this We want this black wire. The rest of it we throw away. And it must be the black wire. Do not use a different color wire. They're color coded for a reason. If you use a different color wire, you can potentially hurt somebody, especially if you sell it. There you go. You're gonna need a wire like this. Now, you wanna take your cord that you just cut off and you wanna trim this back to look, where is it? To look like this. So I'll be back with you in a second when I do that. Once again, time, cut back the green. Now you should have two wires which look like this a male end, a female end, and your little wire like this. This one is the male end in this situation. This one is the female in this situation. So how this works, you're going to have your negatives together, which are the white cable in this instance. Your positives are going to be separate. The A419 always receives power from this wire, which is your outlet that goes on the wall this wire it's gonna only send power to whenever it's programmed to do so so in this case the freezer whenever it gets too warm it's gonna send power to this which kicks on the freezer or the female outlet so that's where your little wire comes in here and I'll show you Here's how the to wire A419 it. the internals you want to take the female cord the one that's going to control the freezer. The very right one is going to get the black one. It's the only thing that goes in there. Make sure it's nice and tidy. Put it in and tighten it down. Next, you want your black wire, your little black wire. Make sure it's black. <laughs> the reason is, is when people see this, they're going to say, hey, that's a hot wire. I don't need to mess with it. If you use another color such as white or green, they're going to think it's either a common or an earth ground and you can potentially hurt somebody. So please only use a black wire. It's going to go from the second position on the second one to the third position on the first one. So we'll get it in the second one and cinch it down make sure no little wires are showing no frays nothing like that take your time if you're on the clock really take your time 
So then this one's going to go in here. See, that doesn't look so pretty. Let's go ahead and get that one looking good. There we go. That one goes into the third one or the first one, remember. And we also want to take our cable from the wall. And we're going to use it now. So our male end is this guy. It's not looking so hot. Let me pretty that up. Nice, 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 nice. this guy in here let me get a little bit of strain relief so to speak so I'm dragging this all over the place the black wire is going to go in with the jumper wire third position first one and then cinch it down Excellent. So now all we do is put our white wires in the second position of the first, first outlet. So there you go. That's how you do it. This is the output going to the freezer. This is your jumper which is a hot wire, use black. This is also combined with the hot wire coming from the wall. And then these are your two grounds for the freezer and the wall. That's it. If you wanna know pin configurations, things like that, keep paying attention, I guess I could show that too. You have four different configurations. You have heating mode, you want it to cut in at your set point. Take your jumper, Put it like that. Cooling mode, cut in at set point. Take your jumpers, put them like that. Heating mode, standard, cut out at set point. You move both your jumpers over to look like that cooling mode standard cut out at set point Set them like that. Your thermometer or your whatever it's using, they're gonna go on these two pins. Doesn't matter how you how do you screw them in. Just screw them in, and they're good. There's no positive negative, even though it says there is in the instructions. So that's all you need to know. Any questions? Let me know. The last jumper pin configuration I want to show you is this guy, which is the closest one to your sensor. If it's connecting both pins, that means your control panel is unlocked. You can reprogram it, you can do as you please. If it's set like this, that means it's locked, you can't mess with it. So if you purchase one, you can't mess with it. Odds are the pins just set to be so. So there you go.